how I seen the racer going. <laughs> I'm just erasing my lines for lining it up. I think it looks okay. And then the sticker has to go on the end, like here, within six inches. But we are getting ready to put the dinghy on the boat and we got our registration work paperwork back and we have to paint the numbers on this. Now, we could order numbers on a piece of Hypalon that then glues to this, which is apparently what they had on here. But um, that would take time and we want to use it. So I used some 400 grit sandpaper. sandpaper. I guess it's sandpaper. It doesn't yeah. really look like it's paper. Um, style. To just get the oxidation off. We've washed it really good, but we just couldn't get all the oxidation off. So I used this and then I wiped it down with some denatured alcohol so that it's ready to be painted. We purchased the optional davit system for our Sir Admiral Uni Arch from Fish on Sports. Lifting the boat and motor out of the water would require a block and tackle and a lot of rope. The more pulleys, the easier it is to lift a lot of weight. We decided on a Harkin 6 to 1 purchase with a cam cleat on top. Ah, there we go. Trying to figure out how long to make this for our team. So, we got lots of extra rope here and probably have too much. Well, it's not in the water, but it's not very far off the water. That's probably about how far down it's going to go. Not sure we'll actually know until we put the dinghy in the water. What do you guys think? Too long? Too much line? that much left. So a couple days ago we had a pretty good windstorm come in and there was a boat out on the end of one of the docks that was starting to list pretty badly so we called the uh, harbor master and told him about it and he said he would take care of it and then the next morning we got here and we saw this. Somebody's got a sad day. Now it's been sunk now for two days. I don't know. I did my best. I called them, they're aware of the problem, so. Chris, probably, probably gonna use this one to do that first. This used dinghy is a West Marine Hypalon 310 with a fiberglass bottom. It's in pretty good shape. Ooh, it looks awesome, Liberty. Good job. One Grab two on the side. We only need to go like this first. That's good. <laughs> The motor is a Mercury 15 horsepower four stroke. It weighs about 100 pounds. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, right in there. It might be easier for you to get on the front and me get on the back. Both the dinghy and the motor have been in storage for over a year. We're keeping our fingers crossed that it's going to run smoothly. I fall in this water. <laughs> I hope you don't. Ready? Let me get my foot in. That's pretty good. Now it's gonna stay in there. So don't fall there. out of the boat. Can you take those. Okay. Now can you go to the other side. <laughs> oh my heck. Are you ready? Um maybe. Yeah. Rope. You 
got the rope. I don't know. How to take the cowling off. Why? What do you need that off for? Well, I gotta check the oil and that kind of stuff. That's in the boat. It's very close to the water. Like, do you need somebody to sit on the front? I call on it. Probably wouldn't hurt, but. Abigail, you want to sit in the front of that boat? You don't sit on the front like that. Yeah, that's what we want her to do. Why? To even it out. I'm gonna have to yeah. order a manual or download a manual for this online. If you fall in, it's not my fault. If he falls in, you're gonna be blown up. The level looks good, clean. All right, so now I need a gas tank. More weight on the back. Yeah, I think it's a challenge. Is there what? Yeah. You're just putting more weight in the back. Maybe this motor is way too big. I attach the lanyard to myself so oh. that if it takes off like a rocket, I can jump out and turn the motor off. What are you doing? He's going to try and start the motor. Can I stay in here? Yeah. Pick that up so it doesn't blow in the water. I don't know. Just throttle only, so. Is that idle? I don't know. <laughs> it needs to warm up for a minute. It's always nervy when they're like, I wonder what this thing does. Let's turn that, poke that, take that off. And it should just go right there we go. Get it in and out of gear. I don't know if that's normal or not. Okay. <laughs> Abigail cannot go for a ride without a life vest on. Yes, I can. No, you can't. You got a life vest? Go get your life vest. Uh. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, it's like Come from. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, I put it on. Now people would know what it's us. Should Dad and empty out his pocket just in case? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 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 Yeah, should have a paddle. Didn't yeah. they buy one? Didn't yes, they? we bought a paddle. <laughs> Maybe you should get the paddle. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Abigail will swim me back. Yeah. <laughs> 
iPad. <laughs> I didn't want it. <laughs> you and me, we have a paddle. Way out there. I think they're looking at the sunk boat. Got it? I think it sits. Okay, sit on your bum now. Like Why? Because I don't want you to topple out. Are you talking about this? Don't, Abigail Smith. <laughs> you are a turkey. Mm. Don't it. Yeah, the only problem we have is getting off of here. We're going to have to climb up onto our boat. Yeah. Abigail, stop it. All right, so I need the other piece so, of mine. Can yeah. I get out now? Hold that. I don't want to fall in the freshest water. Can you pull up here? Basically, let this uh, run the gas out of the carburetor before you, you know, let it, it runs until it quits, and then there's nothing in the carburetor that can gum up the jets. This is where having a swim ladder would be pretty nice. Come on, run out of gas, will you? Yeah, so efficient on gas. You see the gas line hooked up? There? It has to run out of gas in the carburetor. There, we there it goes. Alright. Alright, so now we gotta try to pull it up. My hand comes up easy. Yep. Are you sure that's right? It sounds creepy. Well, it's gotta pull the tension out of the rope that I tied. Oh, well, it's creepy. These cams are nice, huh? Oh heck yeah. I can certainly see Lou in the thing though, I can see how Dallas threw an extra brace on there just for fun. Right? Well, and like you said, ooh, it's way bending up there. Was it flexing? Yeah, it's just flexing. But it's scheduled But I do times. think it needs to come in. Yeah, because see how far away we are? I'm talking, I got, yeah, I figured about 15 inches, right? Just so we can do that tomorrow. All right, go get the windows closed. And then everything. we're leaving? Yeah, get everything ready to go. We need to go have dinner. Go help get everything put away. Take down this hammock. We gotta go to dinner. What's for dinner? I don't know, we gotta go back to the trailer and make some. Yep. It's almost seven. So we gotta get ourselves a couple cleats to put on there. Could even come in probably 16 or 17 inches, a couple inches past center. You know what I mean? Yep. And in two days, where are we headed, dear? Two days, we're going to a new marina. One with floating docks. One with dolphins. Uh, Pre-sunsets and sunrises. <laughs> and twice as much money. Well, you know, you gotta have the, the views were something, right? But um, no, we're we're moving uh, a couple days. The wind is supposed to be very low, and the seas are very low. And it's how far is it, Tammy? Fifteen miles. Fifteen miles. It's a long trip, and I would have preferred to have had the big generator ready to go, and then I could be not stressing about it. <laughs> Well, I'm going to have to have the little generator run and we're going to have to go slower. That's my point. But I don't have any sails on. But we do have our dinghy now. Okay. So we have a dinghy. The dinghy thing is on here so that I know, worst cool. case scenario. We, we can side tie the dinghy. We can side tie. That is why. Because we don't have any sails on yet either. So, you know, it is what it is. But um, we're going to go get some dinner and then. Yeah. Because we, we're we'll not thinking straight apparently. I've not had dinner and I must not be thinking straight. That's why all these explanations have to be here. <laughs> Alright, we will see you guys next week. Bye.